here's why I love The Wonder Years. Now, this is a show that I always had a soft spot for because it is one of those shows that kind of, if it, there's an episode, there's always a certain you know thing in an episode that you can connect with you know experiences if it's the christmas episode if it's the homecoming episode um if it's the frankie and denise episode you know you know you might know these people in your life you might reminisce about you know like maybe there was a winnie cooper in your life I always loved that. Maybe you had a brother like Wayne. Maybe you had a sister like Karen. Um, I love that. You've been, like maybe you had a mother like Norma, or a father like Jack, or a friend like Paul. You know, or a uh, Coach Cutlip. I had a Coach Cutlip. You know, I didn't have a Coach Cutlip, but like I had a gym teacher like Coach Cutlip. You know, like. I have experiences that I could connect with. Um, for example, the, um, the episode of the camping that happened to me. <laughs> or the last time they go camping. Um, I didn't have a dog, but I had a cat that I kind of uh, connected with, with that Buster episode. Where the cat ran away and then he came out of nowhere and you know, and so forth, and, you know, I was gone for a while one time, and he, you know, was there welcoming me, and, you know, I, I always, I could connect with certain things in this show, um, and I love the whole, the thing with, you know, RFK, and MLK, and Wallace, and Nixon, like, I love these whole themes. I wish they gotten more, but because of the stupid, the stupid uh, Sue, this thing that the reason it got canceled and stupid mumbo jumbo bull from makeup, these makeup people that was complete and utter, complete total and utter bullshit and. I'm not going to go deep in there. I'm even looking forward for the reboot. Of all, I'm actually excited, you know, because you get to, you go in the mind of a young boy, you know, a young African-American boy who grew up in, I think it was Alabama. So you, you see things on there. And I always wanted to see a show like that, but... Nobody wanted to do a show like that, and it kind of bothered me. You know, like, uh, Mrs. Yeah, the certain aspects and, like, you know, there's tons and tons of movies w with it, but I could finally, you know, I've been wanting to see something like that. Um, the closest thing I could see is, like, not even a Spike Lee film, like, People don't have balls to do something like that. And I, I kind of, I kind of get bothered from that, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that, you know, Fred Savage and a lot of other people of, you know, are finally doing it, and kind of showing, you know, this is what it was. This is this was, you know, so I'm happy, and hoping. We see a lot of like little parallels, maybe uh, Kevin and I think the kid's name, I think his name's Dean, or were pen pals. You know, maybe there was, you know, maybe this family knew, you know, this, the father knew Jack Arnold from somewhere. It would be really cool. But uh, yeah, that's that. That's why I love the Wonder Years.